Mackey Motors in Lake City is the place to find new and certified used vehicles. With a knowledgeable sales staff and amazing service departments, you'll drive away satisfied. Find new roads at Mackey Motors in Lake City. MackeyMotors.com. Casey Myers of Carroll Broadcasting Sports Network joined here with the Carroll Girls Sprint Medley team here on a day three of the state track meet. And uh, Brenda Goins, you started it out for them. Uh, kind of what does it mean getting down here in your senior season? Um, I'm very proud of my team. And we had trouble or we barely made it here and I'm very glad that I got to experience it this year again. How'd you feel coming out of the blocks and kind of how the 100 going around the curve go for you? I felt really strong. I felt good running. I don't know if I kept with all the girls but really, really paid attention but I, th I think I ran good. Being down here last year I, I think for the same event you know did any nerves coming in for you today? Um, yeah, I wasn't really nervous till I started to wait down there, but I, it all went away when I heard the gun go off. So, Brenda, thank you so much. You laid it off to uh, Libby Perkins, and you ran the back stretch of, uh, of the 100. How was your handoff with Brenda, and really, did you bat the battle the heat or anything? Because this is some of the nicest weather we've had so far this spring. Um, my handoff with Brenna was really good. I thought she came in really fast, so and then she got it off quick, so that was good. And then I feel like it's... <laughs> The weather's fine. It could be a lot hotter. It's a little windy. Other than that, it's good. You got a chance to kind of walk around the track and everything before you got here. Did that kind of help you take the nerves away before you started running this morning? Yeah, we got here at like 8, so we were here for a while. We had time to like sit on the track and then we walked a lap. It was like relaxing. We were pressured. It's your last season as well out here. You know, what does it mean getting back down here to Drake and kind of finishing it here this morning on a Saturday? I'm so happy that we made it here again. Um, that was like the end goal, and our season didn't go like exactly how we wanted, but I'm just happy we made it here. Libby, thank you so much. We thank it you. Off to, uh, Marison. And Marison, you've been a busy girl down here so far this week. Yeah. Uh, you know, you got the 4x4 four four finals coming up later on tonight. This kind of a warm up for you. You know, how'd you feel running in the 200 so far? It felt pretty good. Definitely way easier than the 400. I don't die as much, but the wind kind of hit me on the home stretch, but overall it was pretty good, I think. Did anything else kind of affect you? I mean, the weather's been really nice this week, but I feel like so far when you've ran this year, the weather has been kind of not very good. You know, it's been windy and kind of cold. You know, did the heat or the, you know, kind of uh, maybe not as much wind affect you running? Yeah, it's definitely nice running when it's warm, but yesterday was almost too warm. Like now we have to worry about overheating, which before that was never really an issue. But just like making sure we're prepared and like hydrated before you run definitely helps. So you got a chance to kind of experience the crowd yesterday yeah. and yeah. today. I think it's a little different atmosphere than you get at most uh, most of your meets. You know, how does that kind of play into running and everything? Um, honestly, I don't really notice that there's like so many people here. Um, I think the adrenaline kind of takes over and I don't even notice so that I get less nervous. Marison, thank you so much. Good luck in the 4x4 later tonight. Autumn Fortner now joining us. And uh, Autumn, you were kind of thrown into this, I would say, last minute, uh, you know, kind of how did you prepare going out and running that 400? Um, I didn't really prepare at all, honestly, but um, I usually do 400 hurdles throughout the season. So that's kind of all I had to base her on doing a normal 400. So I think I kind of pushed myself a little too hard in the beginning because I was thinking, like, there's no hurdles. And so the end was definitely hard, but I'm glad I had another chance to run at state. So that was good, yeah. You got to run in the shuttle hurdle, you know, the first yes. day down here on, on Thursday. Did that kind of help knock out the nerves for you running today? Oh, yeah, for sure. I think it's definitely two different, very, um, I mean, races. Shuttle hurdle doing, like, a really fun, like, 100 to a more difficult uh, 400 run that I'm not really used to. It's a lot different, but... It definitely helps for sure. So you mentioned you came out hard in the 400. Uh, yeah. You know, did the wind or the heat or anything kind of affect you as you came down? You know, the last 200. Yeah, the wind. I could it's definitely feel that football. coming in the last 100 stretch. Um, so that kind of bumped me back a little bit. I could definitely feel I was slower running that last bit, but. I think pushing myself in the beginning kind of helped with that as well, as much as it hurt me, but yeah. With your senior season being down here, you got to run two events. How much does that mean to you? Um, it means a lot. I uh, originally came in thinking that I was just going to run one race, so getting to run another one was really fun. So, Autumn, thank you so much. Congratulations on a great season. Thank you.